Ain't No Half Step with Marcus J. Live from the Den. Legacy Internet Radio. Mm-hmm. Thanking everybody for rocking with us tonight as we progress. I thought you said Nikki. Uh, and thank you for everybody rocking with us tonight as we are progressing throughout the show tonight. Uh, we, have, of course, are dedicating the show tonight to the memory of our brother Prince. We got a special guest in the room, our brother Archie, our sister Danielle, talked to us about MS and the MS Walk this week, uh, this weekend, Saturday on the 30th in Innsbruck in Richmond, Virginia. The MS Walk starts at 10 a.m. We implore you to go, uh, to go on to Google and Google it, and you'll find all the information that you need on there. And, of course, in our last segment, in our current segment, our special guest, our sister Jody Smith you. and our brother Wizzy are here yeah. uh, to talk to us about Jody Music Mixtape and everything that is going on with their appearances and things of that sort. Um, but what I want to do now, I mean, we dedicated the whole show to Prince, playing Prince songs throughout the night. I want to kind of take a little bit of time and kind of reflect on the brother, the musician, and the brother, the philanthropist. Uh, I always say that word wrong. Um, and just, you know, the brother in general. And so Jody, as the singer and the rapper and the songwriter and the producer, I want you to offer your thoughts first. Uh, and we're going to go around the room. I got certain questions I'm going to ask folks, but, you know, we having a rap session. What you think? Certain thoughts about Prince in general? Just anything you got. He was just a genius, man. He could do it all. Somebody who who can play the guitar, the piano. Uh, what else? He played everything. Yeah. The, the drums. I think they said he played 27 20, 27 yeah. instruments what come on man and he can produce like he can do it he can do it all yeah yeah what you think with they I, killed him i think they killed him i miss him yeah you they know, killed him I, man i really miss him because you know i'm an old school cat so i grew up with the 12 inch purple rain and i remember almost every song on there so you know just to have him gone man it's it's a but it's a blessing as well because he gave us all man he gave his all into his music. Yeah. Perfect. What you think, Danielle? Prince. I'm gonna miss him. I'm, you know, I've always been a Prince fan. I love the color purple. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> color purple. Yes. Purple rain. Purple rain. The movie <laughs> color purple. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> purple, purple purse, everything. I thought you talking about the movie. Yeah. Purple cane. You yeah. Know, I, t- <laughs> I love Prince. I always I got almost all his music, so yeah. I mean, yeah, he was. I mean, you forget like he acted, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't really like, um, you know, uh, what was it under the chair moon, but you know, the rest of the stuff I can rock with. But <laughs> <laughs> but I I love everything. He I'll did. be honest with you. I now, love I, Prince, but he had the worst love scenes, bro. <laughs> I, I'll be honest with you. I, I've taken <laughs> I've taken a lot of heat for this, and I got a call a call. I see you there. Sit tight for a second. But I, I'm going to rile up the room, and I don't want y'all to comment on what I'm about to say until after we talk to the caller. But Purple Rain was the worst movie I've ever seen in my what? life. Absolutely. The, it was a miserably mo- horrible movie, oh even though the music God. is the best music ever produced. Okay. Ain't no has to with Marcus J. Live from the Dan Legacy Internet Radio. Caller, you're on the live line. Who are you? And what you want to talk about? <laughs> hey, looking around like, who with me, though? What's going on, big sis? Hey, nothing. What's going on? Not much, man. Big Sis is on the live line. We talking about Prince. What's your thoughts? Oh my God, how sad! You know, it's um, it's just a really huge, huge loss. It's a surprising loss, and you know, I just cried when I first found out. And um, I can remember, you know, I think we talked about this. You know, I started listening to Prince. I believe I was like seventh grade, and you know, right on magazine was out and he had the little photo in the center of the magazine with the afro and the empty chest. And I was like, yeah, this goes on my headboard. And, you know, you kiss your photo goodnight because that was going to be my boyfriend one day. But, you know, it is just a huge, it's a huge, it's a sad, sad loss. It's a sad loss. He's just too damn talented. Right, right. Mm. It's a sad loss and whatnot. Well, uh, I hope we hoping that you feel better. Thank you for checking in with us tonight. All right. Thanks, bro. Talk to you soon. Good night, guys. You got it. And you know how step with Marcus J. Live from the Dan Legacy and that radio. Archie, what's your thoughts on Prince, man? I know you love his music just like everybody else did. What you what you think? I guess he was all right. You know, I'm I, I'm not into 
the Prince dude, but he was cool. <laughs> so we got one detractor in the room. He tried to be nice with it. <laughs> I mean, I just like his moves, not like the women that were in his movies. Nah, I can dig it. I yeah, can dig it. Know. Translation, it translation, weird. that dude was whack. But y'all loved him, so I ain't going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what you said it's all good i can i can dig it i can dig it i i tell you this much i i jody i had to explain to my daughter about the butt out pants about the butt out pants. Remember the pants he wore with his ass out? But I must say he's the only guy that's going to wear high up pants and get away with it. Yeah. And see, I put some on. Uh... Who said he pulled it off? <laughs> yeah. I didn't. I mean, who said he pulled it off and got away scot free with it? He Scott, did. You know. He did. I mean, he did, but, you know, people had speculation, bro. He <laughs> prints. Yeah, he can do whatever he want to do. Exactly. It don't but, matter about hey, the speculation. I remember the album with the white horse. He was butt ass naked, looking <laughs> ever so graceful. Yeah, man. I love the music, though. Y'all seen uh, the video Kiss? That was my shit. Kiss we had, he had the hamburger meat. Sliding to the girl, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Prince, Prince. I'm gonna tell you something, man. You know, Wait, we Michael, all seen Michael. the meme. We all seen the memes, but real talk, Prince is the only dude I could think of that could roll up in your house and take your lady from you and walk out with her and her clothes. Yeah, the brother in the back is saying Michael Jackson and ride but, off but, on but, a motorcycle. But, but, but not and ride off on. There you go and ride on. Michael was ride dope, ride but Michael wasn't like Prince with it. You know, he he he, he wasn't like Prince with it, man. No. And, and I tell you, you know, I had a you know kind of a a sad thought because. I, I, you know, like many of us, we heard that he he was ill and the whole thing in Atlanta and stuff. And I remember the last time I was affected by a famous death, it was Michael. You know, we well, obviously we lost Whitney since then, but Whitney didn't affect me the same way because, like, I was shocked that Whitney didn't die 10 years earlier. You know what I mean? Like, I knew that she had problems. And so when she finally did die... It was like, damn, finally, you know, and, and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I'm just saying that was my thought. And and and, and Michael, you know, I still feel because, you know, when I, you know, we all had Michael versus Prince, Michael versus Prince. Like right. we all did that, Michael versus Prince. And I was always falling on the side of Michael. But that doesn't mean that you take anything away from what Prince's influence was. And so, you know, they say that he gave more money away than anybody. I heard a story last week. Uh, Wiz, I want you to comment on this one. I heard a story Al Sharpton told where during the Trayvon Martin thing, they said that Prince reached out to Al and gave like a ton of money, didn't give the number, but he didn't want the family to know that it came from Prince. Like Prince didn't want the family to know that it came from him. And Al was like, yo, you Prince dude, like I gotta tell him that it came from you. And so he eventually did. But what you think about that kind well, of philanthropy? You know, Prince was a businessman. He ain't really look like a whole lot of people in this business in the first place. You right. know what I'm saying? So to do that, to have a big heart like that for what he do, but still be Prince, you know what I'm saying? You know, it what? I think that shows a lot of character, for real, because so many people do charity and had a phone right there ready to take a picture or the media yeah. right there ready yeah. to capture the moment just to show people, like, hey, I'm nice. I'm a good person. Right. When you're really a good person, like, and you go hard, like, naturally, you don't have to show everything. Right. right. Yeah. So I, I think that showed a lot of character. You got to know you did it all the time. Just do it. No, I can dig it. it. Back I can to. dig it. Jay, what you think? I know I spoke on this a little bit last night. Um, I know for me, you know, you know, James Brown and, you know, Jackie Wilson and all of them, they, Sammy Davis Jr., they inspired me to tap dance when I was little. So I took tap dance lessons for two years. Prince inspired me to play music because he played so many different instruments. And what they were tripping off about me last night was my first instrument was the cello. And I, they looked at me like, the cello? How did Prince inspire you to play the cello? <laughs> but hey, that was, that was my first instrument. But I played the cello, I played the piano. And now I'm practicing to play the guitar. So, I mean, that's all credit to Prince, man. What you think, Danielle? I Prince. Mean, Prince, shoot. Prince. 
When I no, I, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> this is what I've been like baffling on. You know, like my first memories when I was growing up, and you know, being a little kid, you know, that was like, you know, what was I like? Like what? Three. Yo, I was like maybe <laughs> five or something like that. And, you know, I'll be sitting there wondering, trying to figure out. I'm looking at him and looking at the posters going on my friend's houses and, and sitting in, in the bedroom and, and, you know, looking at her sister's posters on the wall. And I'm looking and stuff. And I'm like, all right, like he look like a woman, but, you know, his songs, he sound like a man and he sound like a woman. I'm trying to figure out something. But, but at the same time, he's sexy, though. So I'm like... <laughs> Those are my, yeah, I know, I mean, those are my thoughts. I'm like, but something is attracting me to him as a little seven year. I'm like, what is it? You know, I'm like, what is it? What is going on with him? And at the same time, I'm like thinking to myself, Michael Jackson, Prince, Michael Jackson, Prince, which one? I'm like, but something about Prince. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. I'm like, but he got like a woman's shirt on. I don't know. And I'm like looking at these because I was confused about the man. I'm like, what, what is it? But I'm like, <laughs> something about him though. You know, <laughs> I just be baffled about it. But yeah. I'm like, but I like this. Dude, you know, so <laughs> I, just, I just want to say one thing though. Go for it, bro. We're having this conversation, but for any fella that think you can put on some tight purple pants <laughs> and a white shirt, can they go do it? Yeah, don't do, do it. it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't, I'm hey, sorry, look, don't, 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 don't let, do it. Don't let Prince get up, you messed up, right? I put that on Facebook too. <laughs> don't do it. You might not know now. Cause look, yeah. now Prince, everybody looking at Prince now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, but you bro. know what's funny though the the, <laughs> the, and, the androgyny that he had it, it worked for him yeah, you know what I mean right. because I'll be honest with you and everybody can have their opinion you can tell me what you guys think but like the androgyny even before Michael started doing the weird shit with his face like the androgyny for him was weird to me like but with Prince it was like it was like it was just him like right. I, I didn't even he came out like that. Yeah. Like Michael re had to reinvent himself. Exactly. Times, you know. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like you know, with the hair, and you know, Michael and his face kept getting lighter and lighter and lighter, and it's just like it, it was from, always from weird. From curl to the straight. He went from curl to the to the layered. Yeah. Now we're getting a hit from Hakeem. Hakeem, this is a this is a good one. Uh, Hakeem said that he caught the tail end of a conversation on the radio, but someone was with Michael Jackson, and it was late. So he told him to get some sleep. And Mike said, I got to finish this song tonight. And the dude asked why. And Michael Jackson said, because if I don't do it tonight, God will give it to Prince. What? Wow. That's, you know, that's, 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 that's deep. You know, that's, that's, that's deep. That's what's up. And, you know, have step in with Marcus J. Live from the Den Legacy Internet Radio. Jody, what do you think Prince's lasting musical influence is going to be as an artist you know, what, what do you think that people will take 10, 20, 30 years from now from what they were hearing from Prince in the 80s, 90s, and up until his death last week? I think it depends on what kind of Prince fan you were. Like, if you already appreciated his music and what he did, I think he would be happy with what sort of legacy could live on through those people. Now, if you're just getting hip to Prince now, these little young kids, you know, seeing how the way he dressed and, uh, you know, they could just totally flip it, you know, and I don't know. But his music will forever live on. Like, he, he was the best. Like, he was a prodigy. Like, come on. Yeah, he was right. a prodigy. Right. No one can really say that. Right. As an artist, Jody and mm -hmm. Wizzy, I want you to comment on this one as well. They said, and, you know, who the hell is they? But they said that he was recording one, two, songs a day for like the last 20 30 years Man, you know what's so dope you, you say that again he was they, said, they what? said that he was such a prolific artist that he was recording a song or two every day for like for the last for the last 20 or 30 yeah. years wow. they said that he literally had like like wizard you were saying like an actual vault like they would have in a bank mm -hmm. yeah and it was full in 1987 Wow. It, it was full in 1987. That's, yeah. I would, so you already know this to be true. When he signed his deal, like some sort of major deal, they had some sort of feelings because, you know, he was like, you know, I give you all of this money for you to give me this record. And Prince was like, word, boom, give me my money. Yeah. He yeah. took that money and like skated on vacation. He had it like saved up. Yeah. 
He yeah. signed his deal he when he was like bank. he was like fifteen or sixteen yeah. or something when he signed wow. his deal. Wow! Now I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I'm That's, thinking Prince got the on work ethic later. is crazy, man. Wow. His business side was crazy because, like, for real, as far I mean, just of his masters, he could he took control of his masters. Yeah, you know what I'm saying through an attorney, but he fought to get to those those yeah. masters because he didn't want to for anybody else to have his music, especially with the music he had in his vault. Right. So, good businessman. Yeah. Long yeah. little prince. And the crazy part about it is, even though he hadn't released that ma- that material, yeah, Warner right. Brothers still owned it. Because he created it during the contract period. Yeah. And so I think that's a lot of what it was about with regards to, yeah, oh, yeah. It, well, he got it back yeah. last week. Well, not last week, but in the last few months. He died last week. That My mind got twisted. But yeah. mm-hmm. he got it back. And, you know, How I think, so? like we said, through his attorneys, he got his whole catalog back. So, so Prince owns Prince, what he did at oh. the time of his death. Yeah. Oh. Right. He was writing the, the symbols on his face. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. That that was all about the fact that you know he wasn't happy yeah. with Warner Brothers and his deal, and they was treating yeah. him wrong. And that's when he was writing Slave. You right. Say what? Yeah, he was yeah. writing Slave. Yeah. yeah. Slave. yeah. yeah. Change his name. Change his name. Because I, I saw this on TV. He said once he get his masters back, or uh, he'll take it off, and that's when he took it off. And he went back to print. Yeah, yeah. man. That's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why I said he yeah. killed him, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, Look, when you na- after you named all those things, come on now. That's that's probable cause for the person that want that. Well, I mean, it's the same type of deal with with Michael Jackson. Michael was owning a whole he, lot of stuff, he, he and the they both was owning shit, and they was trying to get right. out the game, See, get a, out of their control. A lot of things. Yeah, y'all don't understand about Mike. Mike own half of Sony. So every anybody that was making Didn't money, somebody just buy that back. I just anybody that's that making was making money off back. of Sony. Michael was making money. Yeah, Michael was making yeah. money, and I, yeah. I, th- I think the the thing mm. with Mike that people didn't realize was that Michael owned the entire Beatles catalog. Yeah. And when you think about when you think about the Beatles, the thing with the Beatles, they are the most famous and recognizable group. In the last hundred years, yeah. Who you and so the Beatles. The Beatles. Oh, the Beatles, and so yeah. to own that catalog, I don't think that any of us could really fathom how how what what that's worth, especially mm-hmm. once Lennon died and with Paul and Ringo being the only ones left. Like right. you know, once they go, it's probably going to even go s- skyrocket even yeah. more. And so you know, that's I mean, that's 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 all crazy. Eight zero four. Four zero two two eight nine three is the number right. to dial to be a part of discussion. Jay? I know. Um, I was thinking, you know, the jam session when he walked through the door, him and Jimmy Hend- him and Jimmy Hendrix on that guitar. What? That that's the ultimate jam session I would love to send in on. Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J Live from the Den. Legacy Internet Radio. We got a call on the live line. Call it what's your name? Where you calling from? Yo, this is Damon. Yo, what's up, P B? How you doing, bro? Chilling, man. What you got, bro? You on, you live, brother. What you got? I was uh, actually calling in because I was hearing what you were saying about Purple Rain. Yeah. I said. Yeah. We've had this conversation, but we can have it live now if you want. Oh, yeah. We can have this conversation live. I cannot believe you said that's the worst movie ever. Yo. I mean, I'm I'm thinking, like, maybe Howard the Duck was worse. But, I mean. Uh, <laughs> I mean, but. <laughs> but. I mean, Purple Rain was a terrible movie. It just was. I, I I know we love Prince. I know we love the music. No, it has nothing to do with the love of Prince. It just has to do with the fact that that movie, even though the acting was bad, there was some there was some bad acting <laughs> in there. Yes. But you have to understand where that movie started from and where they made that movie for $7 million. That movie was a good movie. The music was awesome. Just because it but cost you know $7 million doesn't Prince. mean it was good. No, no, no. I agree with that. Okay. But you can't sit here and say that that was... Just a hair above Howard the Duck, really? Okay. That was an animated duck compared to the musical genius. <laughs> <laughs> now I I know that's your I know that's your boy, and you know you were the first person, one of the first people I thought about when we lost someone on Thursday. You doing all right, man? You all right? You good? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I've been I've been rocking all weekend. Me and me and the purple one were rocking all weekend. All right. Well, let me let me do this. Let me have you do like the crew has done here. And first of all, I'm glad to. Have you live on the air? I, mean, I talk to you like all the time, but you don't ever call in and 
I'll, I'll, I'll share my feelings on that in a private conversation. But yeah, yeah, yeah. well, that's mm-hmm. fine. That's all fine and good. But once you said what you said about Purple Rain, I, I had to pick up. Well, if that's what inspired <laughs> you, to, if that inspired you to to call in, then maybe I should talk about how Under the Cherry Moon was worse. <laughs> no, Under the Cherry Moon was dope, though. Oh, okay. Of him, course. And, him, him and Jerome in there. Oh of, man, of there's, there's some scenes in there that'll make you crack up. I'm, sw- I'm, I'm telling you. Now Archie is here. Archie is our brother, and 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 Archie said something that many of us agree with um but i also know as prince fans it's hard to even go you know in a, in, a, in another direction but he made a point he's like don't get prince thinking have you thinking that you can go rock some tight purple pants <laughs> in the hood so what, what's your thoughts on the adro- androgyny and and how <laughs> well, all of that what? and how is, go ahead what do you think it, the no, no, no. I mean, I don't have a problem with the androgyny thing. I mean, it, the funny thing is, I had gotten to Prince a long time ago. My um, my cousin Renee used to listen to Prince all the time. And when I went over to the house, because they had to babysit, that's all she would play. Dirty Mind, Controversy, Purple Rain, all the time. And that, you know, as a kid growing up in Jersey City... <laughs> You know, you can't be going out on the playground talking about, oh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Get your ass. You know, yeah, you you know especially ass. when you're going out there to play ball with the fellas and everything like that, that that can't go on. So, you know, Cass used to listen to, well, people that I know. You know, maybe you, you, you listen to it a little bit a- after a while, but Cass used to listen to Prince back in the day. So mm-hmm. um, the androgyny thing is not even a big deal. It's just my personal opinion is, you know, we lost a, Probably not just a musical icon, but probably the greatest musical icon ever. And I might have a little bit of bias in that, but you look at every genre of music known to man, he's had a fingerprint in that. A fingerprint in that. Yeah. And there is nobody that can argue down the fact that he has touched the lives of so many more people across this planet you know i saw things on facebook where there was it was monuments across the world drenched in purple they didn't even do that for mike no no they didn't didn't do that for mike no no they 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 didn't do that they didn't do that for whitney i mean don't get me wrong there was people that was miserable all over the world I'm, i'm not taking anything away from that but yo in sweden iceland yeah you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean you so, got the you got the whole room right now, all kind of you know. Yeah, I didn't I'm, know that. I'm That's why I'm like, wow. I had, I no, 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 no. It's cool. It's a good thing because I mean, some of the things that you're saying, like Jody is saying, like you know, we didn't know one mm. and two. I can only speak for myself, but you know, when it's one thing when you are someone who. Love the music and love the man, but that's not a you know. We all have like our iconic artist that we rock with. Like anybody right, that knows right. me knows for me that's Bob Marley, you know. Right. And, and 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 for you is Prince, and, and I'm sure the crew has whoever that is for them. Right. But it's different when you hear it coming from a person who's really the fan, the fan level of that artist. As say you are for Prince, and I would be for Bob Marley. Like you know, how many times did I burn your ear up telling you Bob Marley stories? Your eyes will bleed. Like, dude, I heard enough of Bob Marley stories. It's the same yeah, kind of deal. Yeah, how many times you went to that damn old house down there? I'm gonna lose my mind. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap you up. But last thing you want to say on Prince? Anything you want to say? Go for it. No, no. I mean, I just, I mean, I appreciate everything. You know. You're saying about I, I can't agree with the fact that it's the worst movie ever. Howard the Duck. Y'all need somebody need to smack him in the back of the head <laughs> in the studio for that. But um, no, I, I really, um, as a fan, I really will miss the brother. Like I said, he's had a, a, a fingerprint in every genre of music across across the world. You can't really say that about any other musician. You gonna be you gonna be Prince for Halloween this year? No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do you're that. You're not going to rock the butt be, out I pants? Might be, I might be Jerome. I might be Jerome. <laughs> you're not going you're not going to rock the uh, the ruffle shirt and the butt out pants? You're not going to rock that joint? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> can't do that. You know, we from Jersey City, yo. You can't, we can't do that. That's bro. what it is, brother. Thanks for calling, man. Talk to you soon. One love. You got it. Peace. Ain't no half step with Marcus J. Live from the Den. Legacy in that radio. Last word we're going to have on Prince before we end it out. Uh, Danielle, you up first. Final words on Prince. That was, that was great, man. And I was just yesterday looking at um, um, Saturday Night Live. He did all the the um, 
all the stuff that he had done throughout when he first his first appearance to his last and I was watching that because I missed when they aired so I mean just you know just looking I've been reflecting on that you know anything that I could see about Prince and I've been playing it on Sirius XM they got on their station um, 50 dedicated to Prince and that's what I've been keeping it on in my car non-stop you know just listening to it just back to back to back to back that's what I'm waking up to listening to all the time just that's what I do and when it's somebody that that I rock with hard and that's what I do marathon in my car that's what I do until until I'm good with it until, until my heart is at rest just like when um, Fife Dog passed away, that's all I did. We had to take a long ride. Rest in peace to Fife. Right. Right. I, forgot, I forgot about Fife. Wow. My mom was like, Danielle, how much more are we going to live? I said, listen, you decided to take my car. This is what we doing. You know how I do. I do my marathon until <laughs> it's out my system. I, I could dig it because I've been playing Prince, you know, for the last couple of days here on – Legacy on that radio, and even created a gone too soon playlist when I got Michael and Prince and That's Luther right. and Barry White yeah. and Aaliyah and all of them in it. Uh, so, Wizzy, final words on Prince, bro. Rest in peace to Prince. I really didn't know he could actually ball, though, until I saw him. He could actually play basketball. I didn't know that. Yeah. Because he said something about he was too small. He felt like he was too small, or right. the coach didn't bring him in. But Right. Yeah, that was actually true. Yeah, it's like game. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw so I saw I a picture he... of him in high school on the high school basketball team. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a picture of him yeah. with the same afro he died with last week. Oh, okay. No joke, like for real. And he looked exactly the same, yeah. 35 or 40 years ago, whatever it was. Five two. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. How about that? Yeah, five. Two. Archie, what your uh, final words on Prince? I know you said that you're not a fan. It's all right. Whatever your final Ow! words. <laughs> 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 you, you, you crazy as hell, man. I ain't, I ain't fooling with you, Archie. <laughs> I ain't fooling with you, man. <laughs> you crazy as hell. <laughs> Mr. Mr. 3375, please, please take over the show from this dude. <laughs> I mean, he's an icon and he's a legend. And I just thank God that, you know, we can live on through. He can still live on through his music. You know, we can we can listen to his music all day. We Right. That's never going to die. Right. You know, so. And you know how to step on Marcus J. Uh, our artist uh, is going to uh, close it out before me on Final Words on Prince. Jody, what you think? Final Words on Prince. I just had a memory that I forgot about when it comes to Prince. He was an icon all day long. He, was, he is the dopest. Like, he could do everything. Like, But I got to say, the Batman joint he did? Yeah. That scared the shit out of me when I first saw it. <laughs> Am I the only one in the room? Like, I don't know how old I was. When I first seen it, I was like, what the hell <laughs> is going on? <laughs> that shit was some shit I wasn't ready for. Uh, yeah, I was in high school, so, yeah. <laughs> that shit kind of scared the hell out of me when I first saw it. But I wanted to see it again. <laughs> it was dope, though. I wanted to see it again, but. Oh, my goodness. Hmm? He did a soundtrack in yeah, 1980. Yeah, the video though. 1989. The video scared the hell out of me. That was the that was the Jack Nicholson Joker yeah. Batman. The Joker was in it too, yeah. and that's what like what the hell? Yeah, 19, this 19, was like that was a mind fuck for a child. Nah, 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 uh, yeah, that's a bad word. Yeah. Oh my bad. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. you you drop yeah. it at least once every time you come I here. Do though, <laughs> and then you, it hits me like Ooh. we have to get a tip jar uh-huh. for when Jody comes. <laughs> 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 Oops, <laughs> and don't have to start with Marcus J. Final words for me on Prince. Um, a lot of it for me has been in reflection in the last few days. You know, a minute ago when when Daniel mentioned Fife, you know what I often run into is we forget about folks when they pass until somebody else passes and then they come back like you know I, I, I love Michael and I love Barry White and I love Lee and all of them but I didn't really think about playing their music in a loop until we lost Prince last week and so that was the first thing the other thing that I thought about was the way that the world is today in our country and if you look at Prince and just follow me here for a second Every single community can just look at him, listen to him, try to understand him, and find something about him 
that they could relate to. Dudes got a kick out of the fact that he was a Mac. Ladies got a kick out of the fact that his that his hair was better than theirs. Right. <laughs> you know, word, he, he, word. he was he was androgynous sexually. He was androgynous racially. You know, his music had elements of pop and soul and rock and you know, like strolling is one of my favorite songs. Ain't nobody gonna convince me that that's not straight off of Broadway. So I mean, I think the fact that he was authentically and unapologetically him negates the fact that a lot of folks had issues with his sexuality, even though in my personal opinion, and this is just me, and you know, my opinion don't matter. I'm just a fan of the guy who sang great music, but whether he was gay or not doesn't matter. But I don't I happen to not think that he was. I, I'm pretty sure he wasn't. Um because you know, the kind of stuff that he was doing and publicly with the people that he was with, we was ended up finding way. out all of the women he was with. We knew all of them, but you can't ever connect him to not one dude. He just happened to be a heterosexual dude who liked to dress like a girl. So what? Does he have kids? He lost two. He, he lost he, he two. Lo- he lost, he lost two. He lo- I, he, he I lost didn't know that. One, one died, uh, and PB, if you 